Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be another video about the Commodore 64 and the uh, Commodore 64 user's guide. And you go to, you know, put a program, type of program in from there. Probably, I'll show it when it's closer to the screen. Let's zoom in. I like that. Excuse me while I get in front of the camera. Alright. So, you type in the program in from Color C4 User's Guide. And we're going to be looking at. Chapter 8, Music and Sound with the SID microprocessor. Alright, type in this little program here as it is in the book. It's on page 111. on this stuff so I'm assuming that's the register for one of the voices on the SID chip and this is going to initialize it I could be wrong way here so the SID chip is a really expensive item if you try to go buy one uh, they can go for like from 50 to 80 bucks so if you got a good one in your Commodore 64 or uh, or a Commodore 128, then consider yourself lucky. Uh, you can also buy a replacement chip that probably get one for about 25 bucks. Uh, however, the replacement SID chips or the modern version of a SID chip, you can't uh, you can't use paddles with them. Uh, I assume because the SID chip has something to do with about reading uh, you know paddles, you know, like a joystick except a paddle. So I don't know. But that's uh you know, I wonder why they can't duplicate that logic in the newer in the newer chips. Just one of those things that, you know, it's like, why don't they do that? Now, on the Atari 8-bit computers, you've got the Pokey chip. That was the sound chip for the 8-bit for the Ataris. And apparently those are in high demand as well. Apparently people are just buying the computers and taking the, po the Pokey chips out of those. I don't know. Well, I tend to mostly mess with graphics, so at least uh oh. I'll skip the line. Here comes the data statements.
You know, the question is if I can type all this in without making any mistakes. Procedure seven done. But not impossible. save it before I run it just to make sure if something crashes it won't delete all my code data but it pretty much ran and that was like uh, kind of underwhelming <laughs> uh, let me see speed it up apparently this will speed it up speed it up by this much <laughs> All right, that's supposed to be a rendition of a uh, chorus from Tom Dooley. So, the data statements uh, somewhere, let me see if I can quickly track that down.
that's uh it's a small program for the SIG chip on the Commodore 64. Scotty Scotty Animation, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. For more content, you can visit www.scottyanimation.com. There's a lot more stuff on there.